Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your alert box from Stream Elements to OBS Studio. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you're logged in to your account, a proper Twitch or YouTube channel that you're or Facebook or whatever you're using to stream. And also make sure the bot is added to your channel here as well. So let's get into the my overlay section go create blank overlay and let's start here and i'm going to rename it just test alert box and we'll add the widget so we'll add widget alerts alert box now the first thing that you want to do is it'll give you this custom size here uh, but what the first thing you want to do is you want to resize this to 1920 by 1080 and you shouldn't have any sizing issues after that you can make it smaller or bigger uh, but sometimes if you don't have this set to 1920 by 1080 the actual alert box will not show up for some reason so I had that I had that issue so I'm just passing that information on so we'll just hit save and we'll go back to the settings now these are all the different alerts that you can have or not have so you can uncheck or recheck them if you'd like I'll just show you a couple of the alerts here. They're, the setup is pretty much the same. I'll just show you what the follower alert looks like there. So you can set your different images so you can have your custom images there if you choose to have that or if you just want the default one. Stream Elements has their own default alert box. Next is you can change the video. So you can set the image as a static image or a GIF and then video is actual video. And then you can video, you can have video volume control and you can also upload your own sound as well. Now, another tip I will add here in the layout section is if you have now, this is the most popular one, I should say uh, the image on top with the text on the bottom. Now, if you're playing around and you have your own image set, so we'll just pretend like this is your image and you still want the text below the image so i'll emulate it now the see, you can see there the text is over top of the image which is not what you have selected here now if you go into the text settings you go to advanced and you make the margin zero because for some reason the margin on the top is always defaulted to negative 50. we go back we emulate it again now the text is on the bottom. It's just another issue I've gone through and I've had questions about. So that's just, I'm just passing it on that information again. Everything else is pretty much straightforward. Uh, you can have your own alert message to the person that's following, uh, the duration, and then the de different uh, variation settings. So you, for follower, you probably won't need a, diff a variation of the follower like you would with the subscriber. And I'll show you that in a second here. And then you can also add text to text to speech or talk to text or whatever that stands for, uh, where the actual message is read out. And you can also add different text settings, colors, and all that. It's pretty straightforward there. And animation settings as well. So that's pretty much straightforward. I just wanted to really let you know about the overlapping there. That's one issue I've come across. And next, we'll go to the subscriber alert. So this is really the same thing. You can play around with the margins again on that layout section. Uh, one thing you do will have with the subscriber is the variations. So you have resubscribers, subscriber gifts, and community gifts. So make sure these are on because if people do gift subs or are resubscribing, that may not show up. Just make sure these are on. You can again play around with the settings so different requirements so if someone's been subscribed for two months this will actually show up now as a resubscriber and it will notify you in your stream i'll just save that there and i'll go back so everything else here is pretty well the same setup as the follower alert subscriber alert you just have to go through and set up the different images and sounds and stuff to what you would like or obviously stream elements has their own and you can just keep that for now so that's it for the stream elements side of the alert box 
If you go up here on the right, you can copy overlay URL and the URL is going to be what you want to paste into OBS. So that shows up on, so it actually shows up on your stream. Now that I have it copied, I'll head over to OBS and show you what it looks like there. All right, so now we're in OBS Studio and I will add in my new alert box to my stream. So in the scene section here, I'm going to add a new scene. Call it scene four. Now you guys can't see anything. I will add my Elgato back in. Okay, that should be good. Now I'm going to add my alert box. So you're going to want to hit the plus sign here at the bottom. Go to browser. And I'll just leave it as browser. Actually, I'll change it to alert box Let's test. There we go. Now you're going to want to in the URL section here, you're going to want to paste in the URL that you copied from stream elements. We'll paste that in there. Now, another thing you don't want to overlook here is you want to change the width and the height to match whatever's in stream elements. So you're going to want to change this to 1920 by 1080, just as we did in stream elements. So make sure you guys can see that there. So if you don't, well, let's see. I can't really tell, so I'm going to hopefully that's going to look good in the video. Um, make sure it's 1920 by 1080. Otherwise, it may get cut off and you'll be frustrated. <laughs> I've gone through all this before, so I just want to tell you guys everything that I've gone through. So, yes, make sure it's 1920 by 1080 and hit OK. There we go. So. Now I'm going to emulate it. It's going to take up the whole screen probably. And then I'll show you guys that you can just resize it. So I'll, I'll emulate a subscriber event here. There you go. Pretty much takes up, actually it doesn't take up too much of the screen, uh, but you can adjust it with the, see the red box there. You can just adjust it around and say, we want to move it down to the corner. A lot of people do that. We'll emulate it again. There you go. You can move it around easily. Now you can lock it into place as well with the little lock down here, or you can hide it if you don't want to see it. So that's it for the alert box. One other thing, if you're setting up your alert box and the sound doesn't work, but the image does, or the image works and the sound doesn't, that sort of thing, go to settings here on the bottom. Actually, I'm going to do this for a second. Go to settings on the bottom here and go to advanced. This is another issue I've run into. <laughs> Go to sources right here and make sure enable browser source hardware acceleration is not checked. Make sure it's unchecked. And if it is checked, uncheck it, hit apply and then hit OK. And that issue should go away. You may need to restart your programs or restart, re-add your alert box or something like that or even restart your computer uh, make sure you're restarting everything after you make any changes and you shouldn't have any issues if you have any questions regarding this you can contact me directly in my discord server uh, it's kind of related to my gaming channel but uh, that's where a lot of people come through and ask me questions i have no problem answering questions for you guys uh, you can either leave them in the comments, uh, but the, again, the best way to get a hold of me is through my Discord server. All right, guys, I hope this helped you out. Have a great day.